good morning from my spiced egg and me. <laughs> I don't know where the heck Larry is. He's somewhere outside. We let him out and he's just, you know, taking on the day. Someone else has been taking on the day down here, getting the fire started. Just We're like relaxing the day away. <laughs> I kind of let it chill a little too long. <laughs> it's okay. Thanks for making me an egg. Hey, thanks for being with my egg. <laughs> Hey guys, so I've been making calls all morning, looking like a big old flop right now. And um, Larry's just been exploring with me outside right now because we've just been doing stupid, tedious work like calling the pro procaine, the propane company, and they're coming out on Wednesday, so then we'll have our heat up and running um, because the reason our heat isn't working and we have to use the freaking fireplace that's not even really heating the house um is because the propane's gone and they didn't tell us in time like before we got here to call and get it you know filled and everything i'm gonna get on this damn trampoline so anyways called the propane company called um the internet company but we have to go into town to just get that set up um because they're local and now Finley's on the phone with his parents, so I'm just chilling outside because it's a great day. It's not too cold out today. Just freaking nice and fine. It's probably about 50 or something. But yeah, my dudes, there's still like a couple of little things that we have to do to get all of the shit set up. Like I still, the garbage company didn't respond back to my call yet. I had to leave them a voicemail. So we have to get garbage and recycling and all that stuff. And also, I went to see if we even have a freaking mailbox today. Over by the road over here, there's like a post that says our address, but one of the numbers is ripped off first off, and then the mailbox is just completely ripped off of it. So we're like, what the hell, who did that? And then I just went to the intersection down here because you know it's some like bumblefuck roads, how there's just like a clusterfuck of mailboxes. Um, I was looking for like our address on any of them and it just wasn't even there. So I'm like, what the fuck, do we not have a mailbox? Texted my landlady and she was like, oh yes, the white one is yours. And I'm like, okay, it doesn't even say our address on it. So we need to go into town today and get some of those numbers to, you know, nail on there. Larry? I don't know where he went. We got a rascal on our hands today. <laughs> Larry, come back in that house. You <laughs> Guys, it's been a while since Larry and I spoke to you. Well, Larry, I think in the last clip, was doing some sprints around outside. But we have our bed frame set up, thanks to Finley. And I just made it with, um my comforter and stuff, and Finley's sheets are still on there because they're super soft and amazing. Also, I freaking hate this hole. There's some kind of drilling going down. What the F and F? Let's see what dad's doing, Larry. I'll leave the light on for you, you stinker. What are you doing down here, Bob? I made some freaking fried rice for dinner. This is the last of my Trader Joe's iconic fried rice that I have. We have to go grocery shopping eventually, but not tonight. Hi, buddy, did he tuck you in? You look really cute in there. Also, look at our cute pink door. Very cute. Now, I've added some more friends to the bed here. Looks incredible. That hole that Larry ate through is a little unsightly, but we'll get over it. It's just a souvenir of you, I guess, buddy. And what I have been doing now is just unpacking some of my closet. This is really the only stuff that I've hung, but check it out. Yeah. <laughs> I just got my whole shoe rack all set up as well as all of my hoodies and sweaters and all of those things. And then that's just bathing suits in that bin at the top up there. But yeah, looking good. And then this is just like flannels and some sweatpants and stuff. And then this is t-shirts, t-shirts, t-shirts. Um, this whole dresser actually used to be dedicated to my t-shirts. <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. But yeah, I might be doing that again sometime soon. Um, just replacing them. But I'm a little sick of looking at this damn closet. So I'm just going to probably leave it like this for tonight and go downstairs and unpack some more stuff. Maybe my books, Larry. What do you think? He doesn't like that idea. But yeah, we have a pretty spacious um, closet in here, so I'll be sharing it with Finley. And currently, only his suits are hanging in here, so I have this whole side to myself. Hi guys, it's Tuesday, 
If you hear some guitaring happening downstairs, that's Finley. Um, but I'm up here still unpacking ye old closet. I didn't realize how many fucking clothes I have. It's appalling. Also check out the fit today. I got the Kevin Abstract hoodie going on, uh, American Boyfriend. This looks like a matching pant, but they're actually from Gulf Wing, um, probably about three seasons ago or something. And I just have these little free people socks on and they actually match the golf embroidery on the pant. Incredible fit. <laughs> Mountains of the good soul, naked as the starlight. Mama, I'm home. Those unreleased Huck Finn tracks, too fire. Anyways, I have two clothing wardrobes to unpack. I'm also um, unpacking my dresser because I filled this with just random stuff when I stayed at Finley's. Um, but this used to be, I think like I said the other day, this used to be dedicated to just my t-shirts. So I'm gonna do t-shirts and pajamas in this dresser. And then these are gonna be filled with bras, underwear, socks, lingerie, all of those random ass things. The drawers underneath my bed are gonna be pants, workout clothes, sweatpants, all that kind of stuff. And then this is just all of my hung stuff. And I still can't get over how fucking good this looks in here. Okay, let's get back to it. Hello people. So um, I'm covering up my greasy head of hair here. But I wanted to show you a little grocery haul that we just did. We did our first big grocery shop. First things first. Got my nice Snapple peach tea, aka the best drink there ever was. Next to lemonade, I would say. Now we have our veggie spirals, our Morning Star veggie sausage patties. Um, these are what I always used to get at like diners. Whenever diners have like veggie sausage, um, this is always most likely what they're using. So I always get it for myself. Mr. Clean Magic Erasers for cleaning up the humble abode. Spinach, kale for smoothies, artichokes, apples. I think I got honey crisp bananas that I need to put somewhere that won't bother Finley because he does not like bananas at all. Not at all. Wants nothing to do with bananas. We also got refried beans for making tacos and burritos and stuff. Some butter, nothing special here. And then shout out to Lindsay, we got five Idaho potatoes. Incredible work here. And then I just got some Luna bars, some semi-sweet chocolate chips to make cookies, some vitamin D3 because somebody at my last apartment stole my package with my vitamin D3 in it. Losers, coming for my health, apparently. Alright, well, I'm going for the damn eggs. You come in here for the damn eggs. The, the eggs are in the white one. More pasta, we got like the bow ties. We got the flour tortillas. We got the crispy crowns. These are like the best tater tots ever. I love them so much. And Finley here is making some breakfast sammies for us because we have not had much to eat all day. Now we got our veggie sausages, some taco blend cheeses for those burritos I was telling you about. We also got some almond milk, classic. Yo, can you get me that bagel heater out? Did you call it a bagel heater? <laughs> oh my god. Then we got some family sized boxes of the Shell's white cheddar from Annie's. Classic. Some just plain bagels. We got the Marion Berry Pie flavored Tillamook ice cream because Marion berries are native to Oregon. And we figured, heck, let's try it out. We also got olive oil, butterscotch chocolate chips, and then we got some kind of French bread here to make garlic bread and stuff with. And then, oh fuck, it fuck. happened again. Oh no, the power keeps going out in here. I don't know why. And that's the end of the haul as we figure stuff out. We just got two pizzas. Well, Finley got two pizzas. Cause they have meat on them. They are not for me. Hello, puppy. All right guys, I have officially sorted all of my clothes. Let's start with these drawers. We have workout shorts, shirts, leggings, and then these are like lounge shorts kind of. So that's in there. In here we have jeans, sweatpants, and then jean shorts. That's Finley downstairs, by the way. And now we have white t-shirts, black to gray t-shirts, <laughs> tie-dye and pattern t-shirts. Oh. There 
you go, buddy. Yellow to red t-shirts. And then down here is like green and blue t-shirts. And now, other than this heap of laundry um, here, this is all of my hung clean clothes. So starting from long sleeve dresses and just longer dresses in general, to um, long overalls, to short overalls, to rompers, to tank top dresses, to short sleeve dress dresses, long sleeve short dresses, to flannels, turtlenecks, to cropped sweaters, and then these are all just my regular kind of short sleeve shirts, to cropped shirts and off the shoulder shirts, to tank tops, to halter tops, to body suits, to pants, <laughs> um, to long skirts, short skirts, and then shorts. And then also I just put my beanies up here on the top, my little eggy hat right there, it's like a little beret. And then my wide brim hats are up there and then my bathing suits are in there. And yeah, I just took all of my clothes off of this like makeshift wardrobe box here. And then I just have like a bunch of decor hats and scarves kind of at the bottom of this, which I don't really know what to do with yet. And then I unpacked that whole box and these little bags and that rag just needs to go downstairs. Unpacking always makes me realize how many fucking things I have. It's ridiculous. Just finding a place for everything, you know? Also, I just have a bunch of crap on the floor right now because I just put, um, one of these was like a junk drawer and so I just emptied that onto the floor. And then in here we have bras, in here we have panties, in here we have socks, and in here we have lingerie and like pajama sets. So that's what's in these. They're probably gonna end up finding their home somewhere like under here, I guess. So I'll probably do that uh, now. For over Let's 10 years, up in why the silence now? While making After a some full week, the judge finally made a ruling on that. Weenies. We love a good vegan weenie with some, well, he likes his A1 steak sauce. I like a nice ketchup and um, barbecue sauce combo. Don't show people this. Why? Because I just drip the extra fat from the pan onto my sausages so I get more calories. <laughs> well, sometimes you gotta do it, you know? Guys, we're still listening to the podcast and hanging out in the living room, but I wanted to show you, I didn't show you this closet down here and the living room has like, I don't know, just hella space. So I said, you know what? If I'm gonna be sharing a closet with you, Finley, we both know I have a lot of clothes. So I'm gonna take as much space up <laughs> my clothes as I can in these fucking closets. So this is my coat closet. It goes from my big puffer that I got for Christmas to longer sleeve kind of just throws to knitted sweaters. And then these are kind of like hooded things, ponchos, zipper jackets, um, these kind of like thinner-ish jackets to like, oh God, what are these called? Almost like jersey coats. If I remember what they're called, I'll put it on the screen. For some reason I'm blanking. And then just jean jackets and then my fur little coats, faux fur, obviously. And yeah, we just have like throw pillows and extra blankets in here right now. Who knows what will be in there for permanent.